I'm first going to be starting off by doing my hair and I'm going to be curling it so I like to section it off in three sections. So for my curling wand today I'm going to be using the Numi Curl Jam set which comes with three interchangeable barrels and a straightener. So for my curling wand I'm going to be using the middle one which is the medium size one. And what I like to do is take really really small sections of my hair and wrap them around the barrel and only hold it for a couple of seconds and then let it go. And it looks like it's going to be really tight ringlet curls, but once I'm done, you'll see it'll be like more waves because I like to brush it out. Also, you want to make sure you do the first couple sections away from your face. And then what I like to do is just like change the direction each time. You want to be really careful because first of all, it heats up super, super fast. It heats up to like 410 degrees, which is really hot. So be careful when you do it because I did burn myself a couple times, which is why it's good because it comes with gloves, but I'm a rebel and I don't like to use them. <laughs> but I love how it comes with a straightener and all that kind of stuff because it's like literally your options are unlimited, you know, like um, also, I wanted to let you guys know I have a couple coupon codes. The first one is Brianna Joy, and you can get the set I'm using for $99 and free shipping, which is pretty awesome. And then the other coupon code I have is Love Brianna, and you get any curling wand you want for $49, which is a really good deal. And it also comes with free shipping. And then what I'm doing is brushing through my hair so that the curls aren't so like ringlet, you know? And then I'm just taking one side of my hair and just braiding it. Super, super simple. And then I'm also pinning it back. And I really like how this looks. <laughs> that is it for the hair. Super simple. Now let's move on to makeup. First for makeup, I'm using the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. And I'm just applying that all over my eyes to make sure that my eyeshadow lasts all night. Then for the palette that I'm using, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette. And the first shade I'm using is the white one and it's called 13. And I'm just applying it to set the primer that we already used. And then I'm going in with Combust, which is going to be the transition shade today. And I'm applying it in my crease. And that really, this is a really crucial shadow to put because it's really gonna help blend out all your other shadows that you put since we are doing a smoky eye. Then I'm taking the shade Radar, which is this really pretty brown color. And I'm just taking a flat shader brush and applying it all over my lid. And it looks a little bit sloppy, but then you're gonna take um, Combust again and blend it out so it doesn't look so sloppy. Then I'm taking this Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Tuxedo, and you can use like any black eyeliner that you want, or you could just use the eyeshadow that comes in the palette, which I'm going to do later. But anyways, I'm just applying it really messily, just like an eyeliner. Um, and then I'm taking this smudger brush, and I'm going to smudge it out so we're creating like a cool smoky eye effect. Then I'm taking Black Market, which you didn't even really need the caviar stick, but I'm just going to be applying it in all the places that I put the caviar stick, and also I'm going to be kind of focusing it on the outer V. And then we're going to go in and blend it out again with Combust, because you don't want like super harsh lines, and it's just really going to help you. Yeah. <laughs> I suck at voiceovers, oh my gosh. Now onto the face, I'm going to start with primer so my makeup lasts all night. I'm taking the Benefit Professional and just applying it all over. Then I'm taking my new favorite foundation which is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick and I'm just applying it in like swipes all around my face. Are you guys proud of me? It's actually my skin color like and then I'm taking this Real Techniques sponge and just blending it in and I really really love this foundation. It Oh, it's amazing. Oh, I love it. And now I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and applying it under my eyes to cover my circles, my under eye circles. And then I'm also applying it on the side of my nose because I get a lot of redness there. And then I'm going to take the same sponge and just blend everything in and make sure there's no creases. 
And then to set it, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And I'm going to be using the two setting powders and mixing them together because I don't like when it's pink, but I don't like when it's yellow. But I like when it's in between. So that's why I'm mixing them. Then I'm going to be taking Black Market again from the Naked Smoky palette and applying it under my lash line just to make sure everything looks even. And then lastly for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the shade High, which is this really pretty just highlight color. And I'm going to be applying it on my inner corner and my brow bone. Then for bronzer, I'm using the Benefit Hula and the new Hula brush. Um, I'm just going to be kind of contouring, not really contouring, more just bronzing up my skin, um, but in the contour places. So my cheekbones, my chin, nose, forehead, all that kind of stuff. And I just want to give my skin a more tan effect also, um, so I'm not super washed out for like pictures and stuff like that. I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator in Starlight. And if you are a fair girl out there, this highlight is so, so good. So good. And then for blush, I'm using this Rimmel Linden Sculpting Palette. Um, but I'm only using the blush color in it because it's literally not very pigmented at all. <laughs> then I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Dip Brow and just filling it in my eyebrows because it is not cute if you get a picture with you in a bald brow, you know. And then to set them, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel just to make sure they're not flying all over the place and, you know doing all sorts of crazy things. Then for mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Mascara, which is my new favorite mascara. I love it so much. So I'm applying it to my top and bottom lashes. Moving on to lips, I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Dolce or Dolce. What I'm doing is I'm lining my lips with it and then I'm also filling it in because I kind of want to darken the shade, my liquid lipstick shade that I'm using. And then for lipstick, I'm using the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pure Hollywood. And as you can see, that lip liner just helped darken it up. Moving on to the dress. My dress is from Rebecca Stella. I'll link everything down below. And that is it for the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Leave any requests down below of any sort of videos you want to see. And I will get to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. It's on the dance floor. But you better not kill the ground. Not steal the moves, DJ. Gonna burn this goddamn house.